this is her what's up guys welcome back to my channel avoid or disregard how orange my hands are fake tan for the first time in a while last night and obviously i forgot to you know wash my hands anyways welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're here for the first time um if you are go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It really means the world to me when you guys are subscribed. Um, and I've got a lot of good content coming up, so you don't wanna miss out, just go ahead and subscribe. <laughs> but anyways, I wanted to start this video today by talking about the fact that all I've been posting lately is like vlog style content, which I love, we love. It's been doing pretty good. Um, and obviously that's always interesting. I love seeing like life behind the scenes stuff, but also I feel like that's not the only like Thing that I want to be showing on this channel because I do have other like specific interests like fashion like the clothes that I get doing hauls of that doing like styling videos for specific occasions or seasons or whatever um, so I kind of want to start incorporating that side of myself on this channel as well as like cooking I really love cooking so I kind of want to start incorporating the two of those like more specifically on this channel so I was thinking that I would do like a vlog one week and then the next week I would do something more specific like a haul or a styling video or a trend prediction video or cooking with me. Something different than just a vlog style content every week. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do those like every other week, a vlog and then something specific and then a vlog, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but with that being said, today I decided to do a haul with the pieces that I got from Princess Polly. I'm going to be going to LA next weekend, so I got some stuff for that. Also Valentine's Day is coming up, so I got some pieces for Valentine's Day. And obviously the weather in LA is like 70 degrees, but the weather in Nashville is like 30 degrees. So I thought it would be fun to do like showing the pieces, like do a haul, but also do like a styling video to show like how I would wear each piece in LA versus how I would wear it in Nashville. So I'm gonna try to do that in this video. I guess we'll see how it turns out. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the first thing that I picked up from Princess Polly. It is this zebra print dress. It just has this tie in the middle and then it's like cut out kind of circular around the stomach area and it is a halter. And then just straight across in the back and I went ahead and put on my like LA styling of the fit. So I added these little like glove sleeve things. Um, they came with a different random top that I've had. So I'll try to find that for you guys. But I feel like gloves have been in recently and LA is like the perfect weather to wear like a small dress like this with like gloves like this. So I thought this would be a cute little LA like maybe night out going to dinner outfit. And then I just paired it with like black heels. Also with the dress, I feel like it fits pretty true to size. I ordered my normal size and it fits pretty perfectly so this is her all right so same dress obviously i'm just styling it more towards the nashville weather colder weather like 30 40 degree weather so to style this like how i would wear it in nashville i just added this jacket that i actually also just got from princess polly it's leather and it has this fur collar and fur sleeves and then it also has like a cuter like chunky belt so it's really cute when it's like closed. I would wear, if you don't have obviously the specific jacket, I would get some sort of like a longer leather jacket that keeps you warm. Like this one is actually a very good one. I'm sweating right now in it, but it falls like to your knees. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm standing on my tippy toes. It falls like right to the knee, which is perfect if you're wearing like knee high boots, then you're completely covered for the most part. But yeah, I feel like this is just kind of like a trendy, going out dinner type outfit to wear in Nashville. So on to the next one. Also random side note, I would 100% wear this dress for Valentine's Day, maybe with like red heels or like some kind of red or pink accessory. I feel like you could definitely do anything black or white and add a pop of pink or red and make it Valentine's. Okay, so the next two things that I got from Princess Polly, we have this top and the jeans are also princess poly the top fits completely true to size it has like a little cut out here and it's open and then the back is ruched so it's kind of stretchy and then the pants have like these like patches on them kind of and it stops here and this side also stops there then this is the butt and i feel like these are kind of tighter um i got my normal size and i'm not going to be returning these like i think they fit fine 
but if I were to do it again, I might get a size up in them just because I've been liking like looser fitting jeans lately. And I feel like it doesn't like compress down your butt as much if they're a little looser. So take from that what you will. On to how I would style this fit for LA. I would literally wear this exactly as is just with these like platform sandals and maybe like a little white bag um, just because it's warmer there and I feel like I would be completely comfortable wearing this top without a jacket there. Also, I've gotten a ton of DMs about styling Valentine's Day stuff and I was a little behind on that. So um, this top is always an option. I wore this top actually for like a Valentine's Day thing the other day with like high-waisted white like fancier looking shorts and then pink thigh-high boots. Um, and they were like a darker pink, but I liked that the pinks didn't match. So maybe try to find like a different pink accessory that's not exactly the same color or like a red accessory would be cute too. Pink and red have been cute together lately. So that's my take on turning this shirt into like Valentine's Day vibe. But yes, this is her. All right, so this is the Nashville take on the top and the jeans. I just added this like fringe jacket and knee high pink boots um they're kind of extra i also feel like white knee high boots would be cute with this or white booties but in honor of valentine's day and i think in the last one i mentioned that i wore these pink boots with this top the other day and i kind of love like the different color pinks together it gives off very girly i don't know this is just a fun nashville outfit and a fun take to make this more suitable for the colder weather. Also, side note, I will link everything that I have on in the description so you guys can easily find it. I think this is a good winter take on this outfit. Very Nashville. So this red top is the next thing that I picked up from Princess Polly. Um, it just has like two little O-rings, one here and one here, and then it's just cut out here, long sleeve, straight across in the back, and obviously a crop top. And it fits true to size, it fits perfectly. Honestly, I really like the fit and the material of this top. And I just paired it with a black skirt that I already had that also has little rings. So it kind of matches that detail. And I paired it with black boots. I would probably wear this like to dinner or to get drinks while in LA because the black skirt and black shoes kind of gives me nighttime vibes. But you could also make this top more daytime if you were to wear like jean shorts and maybe like Converse or sneakers and also like clip your hair up or something. I feel like this top can be made into daytime. Also the red and black is taking me back to college and game day fits, which we love. Georgia Bulldogs going to game day fit. This is very cute for that too. Um, but yeah, this is how I would style this for LA. All right, so this is how I styled the red top to be more Nashville slash cold weather appropriate. Um, I just added a little flannel that has red in it on top with these white pants that have this detail that kind of make them feel like Western or like country a little bit. And then I added like white snakeskin cowboy boots and it kind of like pulls in the flannel Western pants and cowboy boots. It really gives natural, I feel like. Um, and I would definitely wear this like out to dinner or to go out in with my friends like casually. Um, I don't know, something about this like darker color is giving me more like nighttime vibes but also I feel like you can make this daytime in Nashville when the sun is out and it's not as freezing as it is at nighttime um, and you could probably be comfortable in like this top pants and boots you could probably get away with that so yeah that is how I would style this top for Nashville the so next thing that I got from Princess Polly was this skirt. I really love the colors for this. If you know me, you know I love brown and this brown and orange plaid is really giving like schoolgirl, which I feel like is really cute. Um, also, it fits really well. It's not too tight, it's not too short. I feel like it's a great length for a mini skirt. So how I chose to style this for LA, I just paired it with this little cropped t-shirt that says cowgirl, which I got from Amazon and it was really cheap and I'm pretty sure it's a dupe for something but yeah, I'll link it in the description. But then I paired it with these little white cowgirl boots to go along with the vibe of the top. And yeah, I just feel like this is a really like cute, fun, girly outfit for like brunch or lunch in LA. So for the Nashville slash colder weather version of this skirts outfit, 
I paired the skirt with like a long sleeve high neck black top that I got from Princess Polly and then the same jacket that I wore with the zebra dress from Princess Polly and then the same knee high black boots. I really like this fur leather combo with the plaid. I don't know. I feel like it just seems really trendy. Also brown and black together feels really trendy to me right now. So I really love this outfit and I definitely would wear this whole thing out in Nashville. Also, I got these super cute little like loafers from Princess Polly. They're like a platform a little bit. And then I ordered some leg warmers to go. Like I wanted to wear these with leg warmers with this outfit, maybe with like a white top instead of a black top, but it was a cute idea. Anyways, these came in the mail and there is legitimately a panda like on my leg warmer. So like, unless I cut a hole in it, I can't wear them. So I was gonna style this with leg warmers and loafers, but we may do with the tall boots because the panda was just like not the vibe with this outfit. So this is my Nashville version of the skirt and the loafer. Also, I think I'm gonna order different leg warmers because I think leg warmers are gonna be a thing um, with loafers like this. For like the last year, I feel like loafers have kind of been like a thing, um, but especially like while it's still cold these last few months, I've seen people pairing loafers with um, leg warmers and it looks so cute and trendy. So I'm gonna try to make that happen eventually when I can order leg warmers that don't have pandas on them. I'll keep you all posted. All right, the last thing that I picked up from Princess Polly was this dress. Um, it's like a light wash denim material. And honestly, I got the smallest size that there is, which is like usually what I do get. And it fits fine, but since this is like denim, it is a little tight and I do wear a 32D. So like the top part is um, a little tight. Like I can't even like button this top one. But I mean, I feel like it still looks cute like this. But if you do have a fuller chest, like maybe you would recommend going up a size. I don't know. I feel like I'd still keep this and just keep this top part unbuttoned because like the way it fits my waist, but I don't know. But I do love the way this dress looks with like a pop of color, this little bag. And then these white platforms, this is how I would style it in LA to get a brunch or lunch or just walk around and shop, whatever. Um, I feel like this is just a really cute daytime fit for the warm weather. So this is how I would style this dress for Nashville weather. I just added a long sleeve high neck black top underneath the dress and then I also put a black leather jacket on top and then I just put on these same black knee high boots that I've been wearing and my hair up and yeah I feel like this is pretty cute for like nighttime in Nashville. I don't know what my thing is with like dark stuff and it having to be nighttime but I would also wear this dress with like a white high neck and like white boots or a different colored boot to wear like during the daytime as well. Uh, but you definitely need to like wear a jacket and wear a high neck top underneath, maybe even wearing like tights or something just so you're not freezing your butt off in this tiny dress. But I think you can definitely dress it up to be more Nashville weather appropriate. And that concludes today's video. Um, I hope you guys liked it and I hope it was educational or beneficial in any way. Um, I always like personally watching styling videos and like style tips. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. So I guess next week we'll be back to a normal vlog style video. It'll probably most definitely be my time in LA. Um, so you don't want to miss that. It's going to be pretty fun. And yeah, I guess that's it. And I will see you guys back here next week. Thanks so much for being here. I love you guys. Bye.